So you wanna know why ideas aren't always a caring move? I'm gonna share that with you in this video. Are you ready? Let's go. Hey there, my name is Matt Ward and I help service-based business professionals get more word of mouth referrals in their service-based business. If you're new here, well, welcome. I hope that you subscribe and click the bell so that you don't miss a single thing that I put up on the channel, which happens to be every single week. Now this week, we're talking specifically about why ideas aren't always caring. If you go on a networking call with someone, or you're in a large Zoom chat with someone, and you're constantly giving them ideas, some people think that's a great idea. The problem is, it's not always a caring move, and here's why. You might think you're helping someone by giving them a ton of ideas, even a great idea, something that could really truly help their business. There's two problems with that. The first is maybe they didn't ask for the idea and you're just giving it to them. The second of which is it's just an idea. It's not implementation. So here's how you fix it. When you give someone an idea, offer to help them with the idea. Offer to help connect them to the right resource to implement the idea. Now we're talking about action and not just ideas. There's a big difference there. When you can help them implement something, that's a caring move. If you can connect them to someone, introduce them to someone to help them implement the idea that you talked about, then that's a caring move. And even better, if you were to implement the idea for them at no cost, that's a caring move. The minute you throw out the idea and add a cost to it, not so much caring, that's self-serving. So make sure that if you're offering ideas to people that they want them, they need them, they've asked for them, and that they implement them. And it's your job to make sure that you help them implement them. Have you given ideas to other people or have people given ideas to you? Let's hear about those in the comments as well, right here on YouTube. And as I said before, if you're new here, I'd love for you to subscribe and click the bell so that you don't miss a single thing I put up on the channel. Until next time, don't forget to live happy, smile a lot, and high five everyone around you.